Hello, Collective. Hello, Collective. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you guys. Um, so uh, let's get into this reading. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button uh, and make sure to hit the bell, the little bell you see. Make sure to hit that little bell at subscribe and push it and push all, all videos, not just one catered to you because if you do that, you'll never get my videos. Ding, ding, ding. And if you come to my channel every day and you're not subscribed, all you got to do is put your email to make a YouTube account and then you can hit subscribe. You got to be um, you got to be logged into your YouTube account if you want to comment and things of such and to get your subscriber notifications. Just letting you know, hey, okay, empaths, we are, we make people happy when skies are gray around everyone. And what this is saying is you're using the elements of earth at the moment. Um, you're going out into nature, maybe you use crystals. I see crystals at this, uh, man right here. So maybe you're a Hayoki empath that is an earth sign, um, but you don't have to be. You're just using the elements of earth at the moment. And six of wands, six of fire, that's talking about um, bringing uh, six of wands is talking about a victory. You're going to uh, gain a victory. See that uh, reaper over this man's hand right there? And that looks like... Uh, Maybe it's Saturn behind this man's head. I don't know if it is or not, but all I know is you you you're you're becoming balanced in your life, and people is using this maybe using these crystals, and I always wear crystals on me on my body at all times. You are um, you're gaining a victory over this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this Mother of Water. Because you used your intuition about this person. They, um, whoever this woman is, she's trying to keep you up in your nightmares. But what's happening is she's in her nightmares now because she sees you winning. Maybe she sees you winning at something. And now she can't get out of her damn mind of the things that she done to you. And look, there's a noose on that tree. That's messed up. You know, at this point. They're wanting to uh, keep, um, this this woman wanted to keep you caught up in your feelings. And you said, oh, hey, no, I want to take my sword out right here and chop that off. I got my firepower in my hands right here. I'm not going to sit and cry over somebody. See, this woman just wanted you to cry all the time. See that water coming down on her? She just wanted you to cry and be stuck up in your feelings. She don't want to heal, but now she's missing you, you know, crying over spilt milk. She wanted you to keep crying over spilt milk, but 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 you're not. You're the star. That's why Embolic came out. See, you're this is the star. You're someone who pours out your love, energy, your, uh, time, your devotion onto everyone, and you call out who who uh, the people is that's doing wrong. What is that in the background in that card? I can't tell if it's a sheep. I can't tell what it is, Collective. I really can't. I believe it's a little sheep or a little lamb. But uh, you're somebody that brings hope. You, you've you healed. You've healed from this situation. That's what it means. Uh, you know, and I'm a star Aquarius. So uh, this person wanted to keep you feeling, <laughs> and you're not. Fuck crying. Why are you crying over this woman or man, whoever the hell it is? Quit crying over them. Quit worrying about it so you can heal. That's the key. The key is pay attention to that wisdom. You're gaining a rare magical weapon with which you are proficient. The DM chooses the weapon. So it's, this divine mask one is trying to give you a key of information in your dreams. See, incubation. They're trying to make you realize something in your dreams. That's the key. Hang on, I got a lot of cards I already pulled out for us today, Collective. Yep, at night, they come to you in your dreams with keys of information, and it could be an earth sign. They're telling you to use your instincts. This is the white wolf. Pay attention. Uh, This could be someone in your pack or crowd or family, somebody you work with that you've had to use your intuition about. And you're going to have a victory healer. Because you was patient. 
you was patient in building whatever it is. Uh, you work with spirit to heal physical, mental, and emotional issues for yourself and myself and others, and it's great. And you, you've been patient in this whole process, healer. Keep being patient. Don't give up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Don't give up. Don't give up, uh, Hayo, because I love y'all. and Because you're very passionate. You, you have a passion for maybe helping the elderly and speaking to them and being kind to them. But this is talking about taking passionate action to what you want to do. <sighs> Use your intuition about this woman because now people, you've got 20 or more people following you loyally with complete loyalty. They follow you around. They know that this person is trying to make, make you cry because maybe they're stealing, uh, they're stealing from you, Hayoki hey, Empath, like they do me. But it's all right. I'm not going to cry about it because the bitch is going to go down because I done did a reading before this and I didn't put it out. And the detective is spying on them uh, every time. <laughs> I put out one, but that wasn't the one, that, the good one. Uh, but anyways, yep, they want to keep you up in your head and shroud. Uh, they're want, you need, you, you're instantly losing all memories of this situation. Good. You don't need to keep replaying it over and over in your mind. Whatever this situation is collective to you. Because you, you're a healer. You're not meant to dwell on that shit. You're not meant to. And, uh... Some... You 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 made a wish about divine intervention. And maybe it, this is your destiny. These people can't knock you out from your destiny. They're trying to keep you caught up in your head. Thinking that you're not going to get around in the spiritual community. Well, they're fucking stupid. Because they can't. This is your destiny. Because you're... You, you, you bring aha moments to many people. And it pisses them off, some people. But they got to learn that, hey, I can't help it because you're not balanced. Because you're all not wanting to bring a conversation to me uh, about trying to fix this situation. Well, that's on them. That's on them. God's with you, see? See the light? I see the light. You're, you're, you've gained clarity. You gain clarity. Uh, you, you, you just got to keep your passion. Don't lose your passion of doing whatever it is. And that's how you'll win. Uh, you're not crying over a shit anymore. It comes to light. You're done with that. You're going to be a success because you're liberating yourself and others from people, places, people, places, and things that no longer serve your higher good. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So, so release this guilt of um, worrying about if if these people was ever going to come and speak to you and bring this balance, release that guilt of ever trying to assist these people in their self growth. Release this guilt of this person doing you wrong time and time again. Release it, star. Release the guilt, star, because you're a diviner. You use spiritual tools such as tarot cards, crystals, and ruins to guide others. And yes, I do. I'm a star that does that. And I'm very empathetic. I'm very empathetic because it comes to light. You know, I'm a North Node Leo. Look, this is me. This is my energy. See, this is my energy. And uh, you, you made a covenant with God to come here at this day and time with the divine. You made a covenant with the divine, with, with whoever it is you all believe in. You made a damn covenant with you and them, and you're empathetic of yourself and others and and nobody can break your covenant okay so then it says guilt relationships failure i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so someone feels empathetic for you they know that you feel guilty in this relationship because 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 it failed okay and and you're showing others you still got to be empathetic to these people, even if you don't want to. See, they're sitting around mad, looking at them, mad, mad, mad. They're mad because balance is coming. Maybe you might have to go to the law to get this balance. You might have to go to court. You know, that's why they're mad. They're mad because you're bringing out the truth. That's all it is. Hey, okay, empath, they're mad at you because you're bringing out the truth. We'll get off our page. And it says, Archangel Michael, ask... Archangel Michael, to help you with this situation. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation. Whatever your all's is, say this. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. And you are. See, you got that sword of truth. That's me. I'm Aquarius. I sword of truth. 
you gain clarity that you're peaceful and you kept the faith this whole time and you you do energy healing work. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. 1010, giant blessings come to me and you. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. See, see they're bringing it. Archangel Michael is bringing the people that you need to help heal you and heal your soul. And that's why the sword and rose come out. You gain clarity. Uh, this is about truths coming to the surface that needs healed. You're going to have a revelation. Solidarity, you know, maybe you're being, being alone. Force, honor, protection, power. You're protected. The angels has protected you. They're protected you, and that's why you feel happy and playful, and you enjoy yourself and others. You know, you're like paradise to people. And somebody has an insane chemistry. You all like each other equally, and you want to have fun together. Passion. See, passion. Paradise, passion, swore troop. <laughs> Okay, collective. So, so remember, the key is healer. The key is healer. You're healing these people that's following you of emotional, physical, and mental abuse. And I'm glad I can do this for you all, collective. And uh, I'm sorry that things come out to light that is bad. But I know that I made a covenant with God to do this. So, you know, I'm, I'm this person. I'm a person that is emotionally dependent. I don't rely on you or anyone else to make me feel whole. I feel whole with myself. All the bad wrongs I've done, I feel whole and good with myself. So remember that. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to read this other one to you. Maybe somebody ghosted you. Uh, let me see this. Maybe somebody ghosted you. But that person had gathered up a lot of karma over the years. Now you see me, now you don't. So... So you feel whole all on your own. And this person that ghosted you is noticing that you and your partner is protected for all your good works. So see, maybe you wasn't meant to come together with this person that ghosted you. Maybe you were supposed to have another partner or stay in a relationship that you're in. Because maybe, maybe you all have actually healed yourself of all these past wrongs you've done and you don't, you don't do it anymore, okay? But it says you're leading others to their dreams, and Spirit is proud of me and you and thankful of your gifts that I share with you all. I'm thankful of myself, too. And look, here's an idea. Make sure to date someone whose actions don't make you check the tarot every week. That's the best advice I can give you right there. You and your partner's going to be protected because you share your gifts with others, and uh, you're telling people not to date someone that you know isn't good for you. That's what I'm telling you. Don't Don't do it. And it says, you pass by no human being without applying the healing remedy to every soul. See? And it says, divine masculine's buddies told him that you was a lying cheat and a whore and that you wasn't worth having, divine feminine, but his buddy was the one in love with you, divine feminine. See? See, and you tried to heal that person. And you know that they, you've probably felt that they was in love with you. You know it? You tried to heal them, but look. You're good for me, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. You know who's good for you. You're all calmer now. See, me and my Divine Masculine are calmer now. We're calmer. We're calmer. And somebody that you're healing, they get triggered by your readings. And I'm saying trigger this, bitch. You'll be, you will get triggered, but you got to learn how to be calm and don't go off on a rant. If something triggers you, you just got to learn how to work through those feelings that you're feeling on the inside. And you don't have to let those feelings out to people, okay? You got to learn how to work through them. And they heard through the grapevine that you don't know exactly where all the lies is coming from. It was coming from this buddy up here. Whoever this man is that went around and told their buddy everything. That's where all the lies come from. Did you hear? Give your love to your loved ones today. They are missing you. And maybe you did this over the holiday seasons. But it's saying you're, you, somebody did give your love to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine yesterday. And you're all calmer. And all attacks will be returned to sender. So any of these people trying to attack me and my partner, well, it doesn't matter. Because it's going to get returned back to you. 
And you better stop hanging around this one friend because he's a mouth runner, honey. I told you. That's that divine mask one that's a buddy. They're a mouth runner. They project projection. They project their fears onto you and me collective. And they try to tr get us triggered. But don't. Hey, hey. Don't let them trigger you. Look, because you're calmer now. Don't, don't let them do it. And it says death and destruction spells will be returned to sender every time, every day, every old way. So, uh, they're projecting uh, death and destruction to come into your life. But it, it isn't, so don't worry. Because, look, if you build it, they will come. Show all the people that doubted you what you got to give. See, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> all these people that doubted you, you're showing them just how good you are. And maybe somebody lives in Alabama. Somebody might live in Alabama and... They're watching you build, they're building something, wanting to build something with you. I don't know. Uh, it says trick or treat, you pick. Oh, somebody, somebody's projecting. That if you want to be nice, we'll be nice. If you want to be a dick, we'll be a dick. Tower, they want to be a dick. They want to bring total destruction, death and destruction spells that sent to me. A return to sender. We returned it right back. We will turn it right back to y'all. In sixteen sixteen, and divine masculine's health is going down because of spell work done in the dark, especially during the blood moon. So, so um, during me building my business, um, I I I I had to cut off a lot of love to my loved ones because I was building this business. And whoever's got on to my channel, whoever this whore is, this man that went around saying I was a whore, they're a whore. They're doing spells on my masculine and your masculine they're trying to make him his health go down well we're returning that energy right back to you because me and my partner's protected remember it said it me and my partner and you and your partner is protected for all your good works whoever you are hey okay empath if you got a partner you're all protected and the karmics are interfering in divine feminine's life trying to break up your happy home well um they can't they can't because you're all calmer now and you're all good for each other now because all this shit that went on, all this projection and triggering that you did, you're still good and you're still in love with your divine masculine, divine feminine. <laughs> and they can't break it. And that's the funniest. And I love you all. And look, and, and somebody's in regret for not speaking their truths to you. See, somebody, somebody regrets it. And they know that the devil will send people to block you from receiving your blessings from the divine and can't make you reject an offer from God. They regret not telling you the truth. They know they rejected an offer from God. This is a divine masculine and a divine feminine that knows for good and well fact they're a Hayopi empath and they know they're meant to heal others' lives and be of assistance to these people while they're going through these transitions like me and you. That's what I'm doing. And they can't manifest anymore. They can't manifest uh because they is keeping their feelings about you hidden and now they wish they'd have just told you so poof poof nothing now poof nothing god said poof nothing you hey they they passed this off offer up they passed up the chance to tell you the truth well poof nothing poof nothing's coming to them because they're a reptilian they are a karmic this this hayoka you got a karmic and uh, they rejected you, and uh, this karmic was making you reject uh, your divine masculine. They wish they would have just told you the truth, that they had feelings for somebody else, but they didn't want you to go after your divine masculine or divine feminine, whoever it is, and they regret not telling you the truth. They know they're a fucking cruel bully. They are a predator. This person wants to be in that fight energy, fight or flight brain, they they love to interrogate you. They're a predator. They're a predator dick face bully. Poof nothing now, bully. Poof nothing now, bully, except questions. Right. So now it says poof poof nothing now is coming to you, bully, except more questions. Well, it's because they didn't speak the truth to you. They've got a truth that they're holding on and they're not telling you. And that's why Archangel Michael swore to come out and said, Hey, if this son of a bitch don't come and tell you the truth soon enough, hey, I'm going to take his sword and I'm going to chop it right in half and right into him, put him where he belongs. That's what it said. That's what it said, so you best believe it. Because look, because look, they're doing a damn little, they say, this is a go to the woods. This is a fucking, this motherfucker is a, does devil worshiping spells. They're a devil worshiper. 
And Happy New Year's. They're doing a spell at New Year's, so you won't move, I think. But, uh, oh, they're doing a spell that you won't spill the tea and all the secrets that's coming to light. At New Year's, looky here, it's what we're doing. Not showing our hands to anyone. Keeping info close to our heart. See, see, that's what we know. And there, so at New Year's, there's going to be gossip coming out at New Year's. Yep, the tea's being spilled at New Year's that the goat is in the woods behind your house. And they're trying to... They might be trying to harm you. It's bully. It's bully views everything as a competition. It doesn't matter who man it is, a man or woman. They think they're all competition. That's what it is. But but look, somebody is sitting around breaking code. This is somebody sits on the internet all day and they go around breaking into other people's what what I'm building and what you're building, hey Okas, and this motherfucker's getting ready to go down. Don't worry. In 24 hours, oh, in 24 hours, they're going to go down. In 24 hours, you're going to see growth. <laughs> we're breaking code. See, 24 hours, we're going to see growth. Like, boom, blam, bloomity, blam. And remember, if you're new, to hit that subscribe button and hit all. So you'll be notified every time I upload. And I love y'all. And I'm going to start doing little readings like this. Oh, because some things are best kept secret. 21, 21, 33. The, the, the Cinemasters are helping you and me. This, this person's soul is trapped. The devil has this person's soul entrapped inside of an object. That's the secret. They're trying to trap this Hayoka Empire's soul. That's the secret. Well, and in 24 hours, 24 hours, a secret is coming out. Because you broke the code to something. You you decoded it. You found the puzzle piece that you needed. And I think the puzzle piece was look. This person, their body is dead on the inside and on the outside. You're probably seeing it from all the lies and deceit. You're making your dream happen, and they're getting hugged from a snake. See the hugs of snake? And you moved away from these snakes. See? Somebody somebody out here that's listening to me, you need to move away from somebody. Because in 24 hours, uh, somebody like me, maybe my dreams is coming Maybe I'm going to break the code in this YouTube and going to see a lot of growth. But somebody out here that's spying on your internet and stealing from, from me every day, every time, the New Year's, at New Year, this devil, this devil goat worshiper from in the woods, this reptilian devil goat, they're going to get hugged to death. Dead, they're going to be dead as fuck in a coffin 24 hours. All right. Because uh, remember, some things are best kept secret. And what's the best kept secret is? Not showing your hand to anyone. Keep it close to your heart. That's the best kept secret. All right. I hope this helped you today. Hey, Okas. And if it do, if it did, please help me with a subscription. And I love y'all and I appreciate you. And I'm going to get off here and do another little reading for my collective. And dee, don't let no energy 2323 harm my collective. Do not let nothing harm my collective. Let it come back to the karmics. And and, and, and it will. Don't worry. Because Archangel Michael's overlooking you all. And this person is just projecting all their anger onto you. Because they know that their truth is that was hidden inside. This thing that was hidden in secret is coming out. Alright. Deuces. I love you guys. Pieces. And I'll see you later.